Hello everybody, it is your boy back at it again. Uh, today I will be showing you guys how to reset this big thing. This thing is the Bidland WR120 or Weather Radio 120. Now, normally this wouldn't have this orange uh, LED display here, but I am currently in a severe thunderstorm watch. If you guys don't know, a severe thunderstorm watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. And while severe weather may not be imminent, persons, meaning you, me, and everyone else who's under a watch, uh, should look out for rapidly changing weather conditions. Uh, but normally, uh, if you're not under a watch warning or advisory, you wouldn't have this on. It would be off. Uh, also, normally, if you want to reset this, uh, this would be plugged into the wall, so you would have to unplug it. Uh, that's step one, is to unplug your weather radio. Um, so, now what you want to do is, there's a back, and you want to pop that off, and you'll see three AA batteries, um, if you put AA batteries in here. Uh, if you didn't, then you can't set up the weather radio. Uh, so, so... Yeah, so you're going to take out one of the batteries. Gosh, sorry, I'm struggling a little bit. There you go. I took out one of the batteries. The uh, LED display went blank, and there's no uh, there's no LED uh, down here that's lit up orange, and the screen has deactivated. So we will put the battery back in, and as we are doing that, we want to hold down the weather snooze button. The LED display will turn back on. I don't know what the hell is happening. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think I placed it in the wrong order. Yeah. I... What the hell? As you're... As you're placing it back in. Yep, you get the welcome screen. All the LEDs will light up. Your screen will light up. So, now... Uh, to set it back up again, uh, I would say to uh, put this on, the backing on, and it's going to tell you to set the language, okay? Now, if you want to set the language, you're just going to so hit select on the weather radio. The uh, select button is right there. That's the select button, and we'll tell you English right here, uh, English, and if you want to Spanish, you can't really see it. And, and French. French, Spanish, English. Now, obviously, I am an American myself who was born and raised in Monmouth County, New Jersey, so I will choose English, okay? Now, after you choose English, you're going to set your location. You're going to set your location. Um, I'm going to do Lehigh County because I just moved here. So, you're going to hit select. It's going to say any, and if you want to choose any, you could choose any, but I, I like multiple counties because let's say you're living somewhere and you want to get warnings and stuff from there. But you also want to get information from other counties. Like let's say, I don't know, Oklahoma County in, in central Oklahoma. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, you could, you, that's why, that's how you could use multiple. Set multiple counties in multiple different areas. At multiple, in fact, multiple, you could select up to 25 different counties. They could be 25 different counties from one state or 25 different counties from 25 different states, which means one county per state. So anyways, I'll stop procrastinating and I'll select multiple. After you select multiple, it'll say all one empty, uh, which means slot number one is empty, meaning it has no county selected. So you're going to press select and it's going to say United States of America, USA, or if you're in Canada, you could select Canada. Now, obviously, like I said, I was born and raised in the United States of America. So I'm going to click the United States of America. And I'm going to click select. And the first state that comes up is Alabama. You're going to find your state with the uh, up and down arrow keys. That's uh, this one, this arrow key, or this one, this arrow key. And you're going to go up and down uh, to whatever state you want. I'm going to choose Pennsylvania. Just takes a little bit to find your state. And there you are. Or there I am. Uh, Pennsylvania. 
P E N N S Y L V A N I A, Pennsylvania. Now, when you select your state, you're going to click select. And then you're going to go through a list of counties in that state. Now, I live in Lehigh County, so I'm going to find Lehigh County. And it is going to take a little bit, but patience is a virtue, and everyone should have patience inevitably in their lifetime, so let's wait. There you go, Lehigh County, L-E-H-I-G-H, Lehigh County. So once you've selected your county, you're going to hit select, okay? And so if you want... To add more counties, you can, but but for now, you if you don't want to select any more counties, you press menu. Now it's going to ask you to set the time. Uh, now you hit select, and it is currently 4:53 p.m. So you're going to it will tell you a.m. And so if you want to get past a.m., let's say you know your time is 1:33 p.m. It I have it on 11.03 a.m. right now. If you want, you could press the uh, up arrow key, and it'll go It'll go past uh, p.m. It'll go past a.m. into p.m. So my time is actually 4.54. It went up a minute. So you, you'll use all the arrow keys to uh, select your time. After that, you're going to press select, and it'll tell you to set up the channel. This is where the antenna comes in on this weather radio. So now you're going to press select. Um, if you want this to be louder, uh, channel 4, while it is speaking, it is staticky. Channel 5 is not good. Channel 6 is not good. Channel 7 is not good either. So channel 1 is the best for me. So you're going to hit select, and it's going to say setup done. And now you're going to set it up. Well, well, I don't know why I said that. That was redundant because we already set it up. Uh, and so now me personally, I like my weather radio to have the LED display. Um, so I will hit select. Or sorry, menu. I will go to... Actually, let's do button beeps first. I hate the button beeps. Uh, it just it annoys me. Uh, now let's do... Uh... Where the hell is backlight? Backlight. Always on. The backlight will now always be on. And so that is how I set up my weather radio. And that's also how you could reset your weather radio. So, again, what you want to do to reset your Midland WR120 is first you want to take this off and take the batteries out. One, well, not all the batteries. One battery. And as you're doing that, Hold the weather snooze button, put the battery back in, and it'll the the warning watch and advisory lights will light up. The uh, screen will also light up blue, and it'll say WR120 welcome. And so then it's gonna tell you to set set up everything. It's gonna tell you to set everything. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna tell you to set up your county or your location, your uh, time, your you know, stuff. Your location, time, channel, and language. Location, time, channel, language. It's going to tell you language first, and I believe location, time, and channel. I think so. I don't, I don't know. You could go back. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> so then you just want to, after you're done resetting it, uh, you would put your antenna back up. Plug it into the wall, into any uh, power source, in this case my wall, um, and so, oh gosh, and so then, that's how you reset the weather radio, uh, my weather radio, uh, while well, it does look good externally, internally it's not good, and so, yeah, so I'm going to be uh, re replacing this, well, like replacing, I'm going to have this, and then we're going to have a Midland WR400 right there. So this is going to be on tone, actually. So I'm going to uh, press menu. I'm going to go to, uh, where is it? Alert type. I'm going to do tone. And I'm going to save that. 
uh, because I don't want it to, I don't want two different weather radios to relay the same warning. It's redundant and I, I don't need, I don't need it on 2X. So this thing is on tone for now. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Great week, great month, great year. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.